This is a story about colour in a hospital, how it can help to heal patients, how it can help dying patients to let go. Architect Freddy Suter and artist Benno Zender teamed up to remodel this hospital in Schwitz. The director decided not to hang up pictures. Instead, Benno was given the go-ahead to paint directly on the walls. There were new colours for giving birth. These leaves in a room for newborn babies glow when the light hits them. And there were colours for dying. This is a room in the hospital for visitors to say a final farewell to the deceased, painted red and green. I think it should help visitors to cope better with their grief. The colours we generally associate with death, like black and brown, can actually be replaced by other colours without detracting from the mourning process. There's happiness in death too. After the grief, the great memories of the deceased, the feeling that life goes on. Art in a hospital, color in a hospital, has to do not with signposting and leading people to one room to another, but with giving them a sort of an emotional guidance or an emotional place where they can feel the energy of, of people who would help them, that's energy, or feel the energy of their own body who wants to get better. Or if you're dying, you know, realizing what wonderful, great, wonderful energy is actually slowly leaving you. Benno used this small model to convince the hospital director that his colour theories would actually work in a corridor. This light that comes down throws this wonderful, airy colour onto the wall and into this corridor. This wall is uh, part of the the cafeteria, the sun made this shape. So I painted this wall with a light red and this darker red. But as we go through, you can see every second creating a new picture, a changing wall painting. A chemotherapy treatment room where patients sit for long periods staring at the wall. The paintwork is very varied. It makes you want to look more closely at the pictures to find the colours. Freddy Suter is now building a new wing to the hospital with palliative care rooms. We have uh, three special rooms, specially uh, furnished so that uh, people can actually die in the room, that rooms where people go in to die. They can have family, relatives or their wives or their husbands staying in there, sleeping with them. This is one of the rooms for the dying, yet to be finished off. I asked Freddy what kind of colour scheme he thinks would be appropriate. I think these people need serenity, but we don't really know. I think you can only feel this when you're in that position. That's what makes it so difficult for us. We have to come up with ideas for situations we have never personally experienced. But at the end of the day, it's Benno Zender who has to come up with the colour scheme. As far as I've gone in my thinking about it, I would love to give this room um, a rich, rich colouring, a rich old rose, a rich uh, violet. An artist friend of his recently died of cancer. I asked Benno what kind of colours he would have liked. Something soft at the same time, something warm, but not something with, with, which was certain 